what's up everybody welcome back to the channel and on today's episode we have the 06 i think it is yeah canyon we're working on again uh, if you want to know how i got to this point i'll put up a link to the video before this uh, where i did the spark plugs on here and it shows you how to get to this point uh, what we're going to do is actually do a cylinder leakage test on here yep. it's got a little bit of leak on the actual fitting right there as you can hear but we got it set up, you put the hose in the cylinder you think is the issue, you hook an airline to this and then you adjust pressure right here. And uh, the bulletin says just go up to about 50 to 60 and see what it does. So I'm going to set y'all up. Got y'all set up, got air going to it and now we're just going to turn this until we get to about, I'm do it to about 55 or 60, we'll go to 60. And as you can see, it's only holding about 10 or 11 pounds of pressure. And I can feel it coming through the intake really good right there. Yeah, it's definitely leaking through an intake valve. Um, I've already talked to the customer. And he said, if it's leaking, go ahead and pull the valve cover off and see if we can see anything else in there. So... I'm going to go ahead and start pulling this valve cover off then. Just so y'all know, as you can see, a good one will have the same pressure on both sides as I got the hose off on it. You're expected to see some loss, but this was only holding 10 pounds of pressure when the other one was at 60, and it's coming through the throttle body really well. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and start pulling this valve cover off, I guess. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the throttle body off and see if I can get it off without taking... I'll move y'all up so I'm going to pull this throttle body off and see if I can get to it without pulling the whole intake off last atlas engine i worked on with a 2.9 whenever i did this and i did end up taking the uh, intake off but if i don't have to i'm gonna try to keep from doing that Pretty much all I did was just disconnect the hoses and the connector right here. I'm going to do the same thing with all these coils. Get the wiring harness up enough to where we should be able to maneuver the valve cover out from around it. Just going to take this throttle body off. Should be four 10 millimeters. Got the throttle body off. And said it was just four bolts after you take all the connectors and everything off as well. And 
from the looks of it. I'm definitely going to have to take this intake off. So, so now what I'm going to do is get y'all over here. So, I'm take that 10 millimeter off, disconnect. This connect there should be your map sensor. The hose right here goes to your brake booster. And then you're going to have, I think you should be able to move all this out of the way. And then you're going to have several bolts that go in. It's going to be kind of tight. I'm not going to be able to show y'all. Um, let me get it off and then I can show y'all about where the bolts are. We got a lot of the bolts out uh still got to take like two more off of it and it's the back very back one and the very front one now to get this front one off which is a pain in the butt because we're gonna have to take the alternator off because it is right down in there i don't know if y'all can see it or not Trying to get it where y'all can possibly see it. But it's right down in there between that bracket and the fuel rail. You can barely see it. But we're going to take the alternator off. I already disconnected the connector right here on the back. And then I got to take off the battery wire right here. And then we'll take the belt off. The tensioner is over here underneath the power steering pump. It does use just a 3 8 ratchet and you pull it down towards the ground and then you can take the belt off and then you should have it looks like either three or four three 15 millimeter bolts. There's two right here on the top, right there, right there, and then one on the bottom. Then we can move it out of the way and get to that last 10 millimeter. All the bolts for the intake are 10 millimeters and you can see it kind of moves already. Intake is off. As you can see. And we're going to look at that's the back cylinder. But here are where your bolts are. So this is the front of the engine. This is the back. So you're going to have one on the very front, then two, then one, then two, one, and two. Um, hardest one in my opinion is this one right here and that one right there. Because you can get to the bottom ones decent. It ain't like extremely hard, but it does take a little bit of maneuvering. And for every one of them, except for the back three, I use this long one. And then the back three, I used this one and a half and a three inch, so about four and a half inch extension. And they're all 10 millimeters. And I will, well, I'd say the hardest one actually is the very front one, just because you got to pull the alternator off. And here is our alternator right here. I'm just going to leave it sitting there. Now, we can get to all of the... Uh, bolts for uh, I got that stuff back in there there we go but now we can get to all the bolts for the valve cover and it looks like we're gonna have two four six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen about 19 and plus we got to take the rest of these coils out so let me take these out and i'll bring y'all right back before i get ready to pull the whole valve cover off and show you what it looks like underneath it here we are we have the valve cover off and the way i got it off was just lift this up and you can slide it through here fairly easy Timing chain don't feel too bad. Let's see if we can see anything down in there. Don't feel any sludge or anything. No build up or any of that stuff. Well, 
I was hoping we'd find something. I may do another leak test with it off just to see if I can feel it coming up through here and through the uh, port where the intake is. Let me set this up and then I'll bring y'all back. See, we got it back up to 60. And see if y'all can hear that. Hopefully y'all can hear that. That's coming out of the intake port on cylinder five. Got caught up on evap hose. And we are off of the intake valve. Yeah, it's coming out pretty bad. Well, we're at this point. He wanted me to see if I saw anything with it off. I uh, don't see anything. So I guess we'll just see what he wants to do next. I'm probably going to end the video right here. Um, it's been a little bit of a longer video. Uh, not really longer, but longer for me to work on stuff. But uh, not really a lot in this video. I did diagnose that it's coming out of the intake valve. And now we're going to see what the customer wants to do and see if he wants to proceed with a cylinder head. But if y'all found this video helpful or knowledgeable, please hit the like, subscribe, notification bell. Um, I got Instagram, Patreon, merchandise, all that stuff. Uh, hit me up on Instagram and uh, if y'all want any of that, I'll get it to you. And y'all remember, torque to state and y'all have a great day. I'm going to give you all an update before I close out the video. Um, talk to the customer. He does own the used car lot. He is going to actually change the cylinder head on this. So I look forward to that in the next coming, upcoming videos. Uh, maybe the next two or three videos after this one. So Because it does call for 20 hours of labor. But we'll see if we can do it a little bit easier. And not taking as much stuff off as it says to. But thank you all for watching.